Y'all know that I don't believe any baby's gonna be here until they are in my arms because I've had so many fall through this year. However, I just got a photo of this little man and he is so cute, so cute. I can't wait to meet him. So I'll keep you guys posted. Ugh, I'm excited, I'm excited. The time has come. I have been talking with a social worker for the last, well, let's just say like the last four days over the weekend. It's turning out I might be getting a baby boy. Uh, we're gonna call him baby R. You don't need to know his full name, but I'm excited. He is uh, about two months old. We might be placing him with me tomorrow or the next day. So I got a, I got a little bit of things set up here. Um, we've got, actually, let me turn this around. Let's turn. So I wanted to do something different. So I, I have this space at the end of my kitchen here. It's completely, my dining room table was over here. And I decided that I would just build this out to be like a baby space. So I've got the baby stuff here, the crib over here. And then you can see down here is where I put my dining room table. And um, it's all the way over there. I could get, I could get like a partition or something like that for right over here to section this whole thing off. But what I'm thinking I might do is use like, get some, get like two bushy plants, like a bushy plant for here and one for here so that way it can create sort of a partition i don't want to put curtains up or anything like that i'm really ocd with this stuff it's got to be it's got to be right or even like if i took something like this you see how long this one's getting and then over here i've got another one that's starting to grow out like this you see how long it's getting like these are really cool because it it creates that division that I could put up there. Anyway, we'll see how all of that goes um, one step at a time. And then I've got in my bedroom, my bedroom is a mess right now. I can't believe I'm showing people this. Um, I've got the uh, mama, what is this thing called? The four moms like bassinet. This thing's pretty amazing. I haven't been able to try it yet because the last time I had a placement here, he ended up leaving before this arrived, this was like a promotion they gave me. So you turn it on and it like does like movements like that. That one's kind of hard to see. How do you make it faster? There we go. But it's really cool. It has all different kinds of movements. So for the baby. So that's in here. I ended up putting my desk over here. So yes, that is the setup of the new place right now. But once the baby's here, we'll see even more and it'll be great. All right. Okay, uh, I hope he comes, I hope this works out because <laughs> I straight up told the social worker today, I said, look, I will take this baby in, but I'm not gonna believe it until he is in my arms because I, I said I had about six placements fall through this year before the baby ever got here. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, yes. Morning, so it's Tuesday, I'm gonna take some vitamins and um, I take this uh, green superfood every day because um, I I went and got I went and got a test for um, gluten insensitivity and it turned out like I don't know I just it turned out I realized that I needed to eat more greens or whatever something like that. So I do have an, I do have the insensitivity, in, insensitivity, is that the word? I don't know, fill me in in the comments, I don't know, whatever it is. Um, and, but I also found out that I'm not eating enough um, <clears throat> greens. Okay, so update on what's going, on what's going on. So this Tuesday morning, I spoke to the social worker for the baby yesterday and he should be here tomorrow, Wednesday. Now, here's the thing. Um, I told her that I got a busy day and it'd be better if we did it today or even yesterday. 
and paperwork and all that jazz, it's always the problem is paperwork. <laughs> and it's not that I don't believe her, because I do, uh, but it's always the issue, paperwork. So she's got to get the packet together and so the, the DCFS system in Los Angeles is really, really big and it's like this huge web and it, I, th I think a lot of this stuff has to go through multiple channels. So that's why it can take so long. Um, so he should be here tomorrow. I guess that's good. I'm, I had a lot to clean up, so I cleaned up yesterday. Um, I feel like I want to know, I need. I wish I knew what kind of formula he's on. I have all this formula in here, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, that's all like, all formula they kept sending me from um, uh, Baby S. So I would love to give him that, but if not, then, um, you know, you can't change their food because if you change the baby's food, first off, you're not supposed to change formula for a baby. Second off, if you do need to change it, it has to be approved from a doctor if they're in the foster care system. So that's that. Um, I know from what I heard through the grapevine. So what happened, okay, what happened with this boy is there is a uh, Facebook group that I'm in for fostering. And I had put that I'm available to take in a child. And then somebody saw my post and knew another foster parent who was having troubles with this baby. And um, she said, well, give me the foster, uh, give me the social worker's number. This woman that saw my post reached out to the social worker. The social worker then um, reached, then also gave me the social worker's number. I reached out to the social worker and said, I'm available, I can take him in. Um, and there was some scheduling issues with the visitations and things and moving him to me, he'll be closer to the bio mom, which is insignificantly closer, so, which is good for the visitations and things like that. So um, it's just been a process. It's been about a week now um, since all this started, almost a week since all this started, but he'll be here tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully he'll be here tomorrow. I told her many times if my agency calls me today or you know, like before he comes, I'm gonna say yes to them. So, um, you know, if she can't do it quicker, then she'll have to find another home. Um, but I hope so because I've seen a picture of him and he's so cute and you know, I don't know anything about his personality, but I'll learn when he gets here. Um, okay, that's that. Eat your greens, take your vitamins. I'll let you guys know more when I know more. I would be so happy if she was like, hey, we made things happen, we're gonna do it today. Oh. We'll see. Bye everyone, see you later. Peace out. Okay, so uh, I'm exhausted from this day. Uh, lots of running around. However, I spoke to the social worker. Um, I will say I really like this uh, person. They're really responsive. They're really informative. Looks like he's coming tomorrow, as I said, around 2 to 2.30 p.m. Um, so I'm at this place where I feel as though I fully accept the fact that you don't you can't control these cases and all I ask for is communication. So I like that she communicates. She takes hours to get back to me. However, she always gets back to me and that's what I like. So my expectations are just what they are, what they've been. I send a text message, I make a phone call. I know it's gonna take a couple hours for her to get back to me. The social workers in LA County are extremely busy. They have a lot of cases, they're in people's homes, they're talking to people, they're seeing kids, yada, yada, yada. So I know that's probably why it's taking so long, but for her to respond, but the fact is she doesn't leave me hanging and I really appreciate that. Also, um, I asked for the other foster parent's phone number and she said that the foster parent actually asked to pass her number on to me um, so she's going to be doing that, which I really like because uh, the baby, I believe, is about, he's either about or is two months old. And um, it would be really good for me to have her information to know about him. What does he like? How does he like to be held, cradled? What's his sleeping routine like? Um, you know, anything, what is his feeding like? Anything that she can provide to me to better care for him is going to be the best thing. Um, so, you know, 
seems like everything's working out fine. Um, I've got over here the stroller all ready to go as I've showed you guys the, the space for him. And um, I do want to go get some stuff out of the storage because uh, I still have stuff in there in the bassinet, whatever. I still have stuff in the storage. I want to get the rest of that stuff out of there today. But we'll see. We'll see because it, I was talking to my friend Michelle today. I said, you know, here's the details. He's going to be here tomorrow. But we all know, I, I truly, until that baby is in my arms <laughs> and I see the paperwork that he's placed with me, I'm not going to get my hopes up. So I am excited, but anything can happen. I hope goodness happens. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to take a nap. I need to sleep. Okay, so I'm at at Target because I'm, I'm making a vision board, right? Like I've got some stuff, I'm making a vision board. But then I like come over here and I see these beautiful, cute things, like these onesies. So of course I bought some and I don't even need onesies because I have so many from when Baby S was here, but you just can't come to Target and pass the baby stuff and not buy it. So. And I figure, you know, baby R deserves some new, oh my God, look at this little, little hat. Oh my God, <laughs> so cute. So yeah, and they have like all the fall colors out. It's just so cute. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. Ah, so yes, we'll see. We'll see how everything turns out. Tomorrow, I spoke with the foster mother that uh, I'm gonna be getting him from. And she is very sweet, super nice. She's like writing up an entire like report about him and his history and medical stuff. That way I'll understand what's going on with him and also have everything that I need to know about him to properly take care of him. So, and then Tomorrow is the day. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Um, it's it, This social worker is super nice. She communicates. The foster parent is super nice. We got on FaceTime today. She sent me pictures of him today. Oh, I just can't wait. So that's that. I need to get some more stuff. And um, I don't need more stuff. I have so much stuff at home, but I want more stuff. Um, that's it for now. That's it for now. I'll keep you all updated. Ah. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, so I just got, um, oh, I'm so excited. So, okay, he is going to be here soon today, I think. Um, my agency just reached out to me. They just got the information about him, which is an amazing sign. Um, and then also my worker. So we have a worker, because I'm with an agency, I have a social worker at the agency. Um, but also there's a social worker that the baby has at the county level. My old worker, he was very, very nice, good, but that's possibly getting changed to a different person who I love and she's amazing. Um, I'm just so excited. I spoke to the, um, let me set this up here. Okay, I spoke to the uh, social, no, I spoke to the foster mom. Literally for probably two hours last night, the, the, the foster mom that has him right now, I spoke to her about two hours yesterday. We spoke on the phone this morning. She told me a bunch of stuff about him. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to meet him. He's so cute and cool and lovely. Ah, I'll keep you guys posted. I'll keep you guys Calm down, calm down. Okay, ah, ah. <laughs> I can't wait. Okay, so he's on his way. I just spoke with the foster mother who had him uh, and she just sent me a text letting me know that he is, he just left with the social worker and um, I don't know why I'm so nervous. I'm like so nervous right now and I don't know why. It's just such a different feeling this time around. So I don't know, I'm excited and I'm nervous, but uh, I think I'm just excited to meet them, see how it goes. So. They're coming from, I don't even want to say where they're coming from. They're coming from another city about mm, just south of LA. So not too, too far at all. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see. I'll, I guess the next time I do video, you guys are going to 
Let's see, see him. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Oh, guess who's here? This is baby R. Yeah, he's here. I can't believe it. Look at these tiny little feet. <laughs> he absolutely loves being held. He's been sleeping the whole time, which means we are gonna have a long, long night. He's really precious. I'm sorry I'm gonna have to wake you up because you poop. Put him in the bassinet, actually. You can see it's actually going right now. Um, I put him in that and he does like it, which is really good. He's big on the pacifier, he loves that. Um, but he's tiny, he is so little. Unreal, you're so handsome too, just peacefully sleeping. Social worker was amazing, she is so nice. Looks to be around my age, just so sweet, so kind. Everything about this has just worked so beautifully. So, so beautifully. Um, we set up visitations and all of that jazz for the bio mother and yeah, we'll see how things go. So I'm really happy. I'm really happy he's here. Uh, we've got a dirty diaper to um, change, but I will, that's not the end of this video. I'll keep it going through the rest of today. Right now it's about 4.40 PM and um, we will, uh, we'll keep this going. I'll fill you guys in a little bit and let you know how he's doing because you know what's gonna happen. He is going to wake up and want to eat or something like that. Um, I got to download the Huckleberry app again and get him set up on there to, because that app is really good to help schedule um, all his feedings and his sleeping and get him on a routine. We got the baby Brezza back out, like everything is ready to go. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you guys filled in soon. Hi, peace. Come on baby feet. Okay, so it is almost 8 p.m. We had a bath. Uh, he is in his Mamaru bassinet and he is passed out, swaddled. I'll show you him real quick. We have to be quiet. He is passed out. Look at him. It's so hard to see him, but he's in there, passed out. I'm definitely not turning the light on anymore. Let's see. So, so precious. Alexa, turn off the light. Mm -hmm. He's really, really sweet, like, hardly cries. Um, he's just a great boy. He's just a good boy. And I am gonna call it a night with this one. I need to go to sleep. One thing I've learned from my past is when he is asleep, go to bed. Because I know he's gonna be up in three hours and I need to get sleep or I will be a zombie in two days. So guys, Baby R is here. I put a cool Instagram reel up, so head over to my Instagram if you want to check that out. Um, thanks for thanks for following me and supporting me. I really, really appreciate all this. I love you guys, and I will see you. I'll I'll have another video. Like I'll do the first couple days, maybe or something like that. So we got to go to the doctors tomorrow or the next day. We'll figure it out. Bye, guys. I love you all so much. Peace. <laughs>